Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year aptitude questions for Tech Mahindra. So, guys, I know that many of you have your round one that is of aptitude at English writing tomorrow, that is on 25th July 2024. So, for all of you, I am making this video. So, make sure that you are watching this video till the end so that you can get to know the different different type of questions which can be asked from you in the aptitude section. Okay, so total 10 to 12 questions I'll, I will be discussing in this video. Don't skip any part of this video. It will be very much informative for all of you. Okay, and guys, before moving ahead, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because continuously I am making videos for different different companies and about different different updates. So don't skip any part here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. And guys, do join our Telegram group for 2024 batch. We have made it dedicatedly for this batch so that for different various hirings we can discuss here. The link of this telegram group you will find it find in the description box make sure to join it many of your doubts will be resolved here only so i hope the question is uh, the, these all things are clear to you now let's start this video but do not skip any question in this video let's start okay so guys the first question is tom walks six kilometer east so let's just draw with a uh, simple let's just draw it okay so it will be north west this will be south this uh, oh, sorry this will be west this will be east sorry this will be east okay so what does tom does tom walks six kilometer towards east okay this direction it is moving six kilometer then he uh, okay then he turns to his right and walks 10 kilometer so from here he turns right and he walks 10 kilometer okay he uh, turns to his right again and walks six kilometer so again he turns to his right and walks 6 km. He then turns left and walks 15 km. So he then turns left and walks 15 km. At what distance and in which direction is he from the starting point? So this was the starting point. He went 6 km there, then 10 km down, then again 6 km back, then 15 km down. So total from the starting position till here, he is at a 15 km, sorry, 25 km distance and in the north direction sorry south direction so this is the correct answer that is 25 kilometers from starting point in the south direction i hope this is clear to you this question is clear to you next moving ahead to the next question so next question is due to my good performance at work i received three successive increments of equal percentage my salary increased from 100 rupees to 133.1 rupee by what percentage is my salary raised each time? So guys, what is happening here? So let's suppose the current salary was P. Then what happened? It increased by X percent. Now P has become P plus X percent. Then again P has become, again in the second time also P has become P plus X percent. So now this P was already containing the previous increment. So now this P again has increment by X percent. So total three times increment has happened and this is the resultant uh, resultant uh, principle and this is the question of uh, compound interest. Oh, okay. It is the question of compound interest and you just have to, you just have to find the rate of the interest. Okay. So the, uh, the simple formula of compound interest is A is equivalent to principal 1 plus R upon 100 and to the power n okay so let me just put it in the values here so 133.1 p is 100 that is your base amount 1 plus r upon 100 because r we have to find and n is 3 okay n is 3 so this will give you the value of r and r will come out to be 10 percent so if three years successively 10 percent increment happens then the 100 rupees will become 133.1 percent so answer here is the 10 percent this is the correct answer and it was the question of compound interest i hope this formula is clear to you moving to the next question so this is uh, this is what relationship question so nikki who is ronnie's daughter so guys this is a relationship question sorry blood relation question so in blood relation questions always make a diagram so let's just suppose okay so line by line you will be making the diagram so nikki is the who is the Ronnie's daughter? So the, Nikki is daughter of Ronnie. Okay, says to Indal. So there is one more person, Indal. 
that your mother Reggie is the youngest sister of my father, who is the third child of Jack. Let me just simplify. So Nikki said to uh, said to Indal that your mother Reggie. That means Indal's mother Reggie. So here it was Ronnie. Here it was Reggie. So Nikki's father is Ronnie. Indal's mother is Reggie. Okay, and she is the daughter of Reggie. So is the youngest sister of my father. So it means that Reggie is Ronnie's sister. Okay, sister. Okay, so Ronnie is father of Nikki. Reggie is daughter, uh, uh, mother of Indy. Ronnie is uh, uh, Ronnie's sister is Reggie. Okay, who is the third child of Jack? So your mother Reggie is the youngest sister of my father, who is the third child of Jack. So Ronnie is the third child of Jack. So Ronnie is the third child of Jack. So this is Jack. And uh, so Jack's uh, son is Ronnie. Okay, so this is the entire blood division that has been formed. Now, how is Jack related to Indal? So how is Jack related to Indal? So Jack is uh, father of Ronnie. Ronnie is brother of Reggie, and Indy is daughter of Reggie. So Jack and Indy are the relation is of the grandfather. Okay, so two levels up. It is with it is the grandfather. So this is the Correct answer for this particular question. I hope this is clear to you. Move on to the next question. Which of the given option, which of the given option should fill in the blank? So F zero three K one I zero four H zero O zero nine B R one three Y. So let's just look step by step. So first thing, see what we'll be doing. We'll be checking the first letter first. So F. Then what happens? G H I J K L M N O P Q R. So C F and I. So F and I. Three letter gap. Then I and L three letter gap. Then L and O three letter gap. Then O and R three letter gap. So you can see that in between these two there is a three letter gap. In between these two there is a three letter gap, and in between these two there is a six letter gap. So what will be the first letter of the missing word? So it will be L only. So the letter will be first letter will be L. Then coming to these two numbers, zero. Uh, sorry, the next number that is zero zero. If you can see in all the four, there are zero only. Okay, but here it is one. Okay, so then what we'll be doing? We'll be combining both three both these letters zero three, zero four, zero nine one three. So zero three, zero four, zero nine. One three and there is one more. So here the gap is one. Here the gap is four. Okay. So see what will be the gap here. In between, see one and four is there. So in between zero four and missing one, it should be two. In between the missing one and the next one should be three. So one two three four, it should be the gap. So therefore, it will be zero six here. So L zero six here. So we have found the first three letters and you can see that this is only matching with our First three letters, so this will be the answer. Coming to the last one, if you will see, let's just see the last one also. So, uh, okay. So again, K H B Y. Okay. So again, let me just write it quickly, or I can tell you that there is a difference of three letters. In between K and H, difference is three letters. H and E, there is a difference of three letters. E and B, there is a difference of three letters, and B and Y, there is a Distance of three letters moving behind. So therefore, the answer missing one was E. So therefore, here it is E. So L zero six E is the answer. This one is the answer. So in these type of questions, always try to find the pattern line by line. Okay, oh, sorry, character by character, and you will find it. So I hope this question is clear to you. Okay. And guys, before moving ahead, if you are finding this video helpful, do hit that like and subscribe button because in the round two coding questions will be asked, and lot of coding questions I will be discussing on this channel only. So do hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you are present. And again, I am telling you, do join our Telegram group in which we are discussing about various companies. It will be very much beneficial for you if you will join this group because lot of discussion regarding Tech Mahindra also I will be doing in this group only. So moving to the next question. If bike is coded as 64, car is coded as 27. Truck is coded as 125. Then what is the tractor coded as? So it is again a very simple question only. So bike. So bike has four letters. Four cube is 64. You just have to see the pattern. Then is car. So car has three letters. Cube of three is 27. Okay. 
then there is coming the truck so truck has five letters and five cube is 125 so following the similar pattern tractor so tractor has seven letters and cube of seven is 343 so this is the correct answer here okay so you just have to see the pattern and just follow the follow for the same i hope this question is clear to you next moving ahead to the next question the available reserves with the insurance company Kubara for the three months was 58,000, 62,000, 57,000 respectively. Find the average reserve per month with the company for the given three months. So it's again very simple. It's uh, the question from averages. So X plus Y plus Z divided by three will give you the average. Just substitute the values. X is 58,000. Y is 62,000. Z is 57,000 divided by 3 is equivalent to it is 59,000 59,000 so this is the average of the uh, 3 months with the bank with the insurance company so I hope this question is also clear to you next question is again it's a very simple question next one what is the ratio of father's age to the son's age father's age is 35 so father's age is 35 son's age is 5 so what is the ratio of father to son so 35 divided by 5 it is 7 by 1 so ratio is 7 is to 1 this is the correct ratio 7 is to 1 i hope this question is clear to you if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section i will be happy to help. next question is a person spends 40 percent of his salary on food 25 percent on house rent 15 percent on the entertainment and 5 percent on the conveyance so 40 percent uh, food 25% house, 15% entertainment, 5% conveyance. Okay. So this is the total. Total is 85%. In his savings at the end of the month is 1200. So 85% of his money has been spent. Remaining is 15%. So what is the saving amount? It is 1200. So what will be the actual amount that he is earning? Then his salary per month is 15 by 100 of x is equivalent to 1200 so x is equivalent to 1200 into 100 divided by 15 so what will be the output so here it is 1 uh, 120 is 15 75 90 and i think it's 8 so 8 into 3 so answer is 8000 so answer is 8000 so this is the correct answer that 8000 is his salary so I hope this question is clear. Next question is a merchant marks his bears 40% more than the real price and allows 20% discount. What will be his profit? So if he has purchased an item of 100 rupees, so he has done, he has like MRP he has done as, let's suppose MRP he has done 40% more that is 140 and then on 140 he has done a discount, discount of 20%. Okay, then 140 minus 20% is 1112. So this was his buying price, this was his selling price. So what is his profit? So what is the profit percentage? It is 12%. You can see here it is 12%. So this is the correct answer for this. Okay. So now moving to the next question. That is the last question of this video. And I want you to give me the answer in the comment section. Okay. So 10 men can finish a piece of work in 10 days. Whereas it takes 12 women to finish it in 10 days. If 15 men and 6 women undertake the complete work, how many days will they take to complete the entire work? So again, this is a very like commonly asked question. This, these type of questions are very common in aptitude, whether it is tech mentor or whether it is any other, other company. These piece of work questions are very easy. So easy and like they are very commonly asked. So I want you to give me the answer in the comment section and I will be telling you whether it is a right answer or a wrong answer. So these are all the questions I wanted to discuss in this particular video. I have covered different different types of questions here so that you can get the idea that okay you can expect these type of questions in the Tech Mahindra aptitude tomorrow. So if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section or you can join the Telegram group where we are doing regular discussions about different companies and the hiring process. Okay. All the help will be provided to you. Okay. On your doubts. So do comment down and do join this Telegram group and this was it for this video. Thank you for watching this video and do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel for future videos update also. Thank you.